Title, Selling Sex in Paradise, A Look into Prostitution in the Dominican Republic. Introduction. The Dominican Republic is a popular destination for tourists seeking a tropical paradise, but it is also known for its thriving sex industry. In this documentary, we will take a closer look at the world of prostitution in the Dominican Republic, exploring the history, laws, and the lives of those involved. Part 1, History of Prostitution in the Dominican Republic. Prostitution has been present in the Dominican Republic for centuries, dating back to the time of Spanish colonization. During the 20th century, the industry grew significantly, fueled by tourism and economic instability. Today, it is a booming industry that attracts both locals and tourists, and has a significant impact on the country's economy. Part 2, Legal Framework. Prostitution is technically illegal in the Dominican Republic, but it is widely tolerated, and law enforcement rarely cracks down on the industry. However, the laws surrounding prostitution are complex and often contradictory, leading to confusion and exploitation of sex workers. Sex workers are often subjected to police harassment and abuse, and are denied basic human rights. Part 3, Life of Sex Workers. We will explore the daily lives of sex workers in the Dominican Republic examining the challenges they face, such as discrimination, violence, and exploitation. We will speak with those who work in the industry, including sex workers, brothel owners, and activists, to gain a better understanding of the realities of the industry. We will also examine the impact of poverty and gender inequality on sex work in the country. Part 4, The Role of Tourism. Tourism is a significant driver of the sex industry in the Dominican Republic. We will examine the ways in which the industry caters to tourists, and how tourists fuel demand for sexual services. We will also explore the impact of sex tourism on the country's economy and the ethical considerations surrounding it. Part 5, Efforts to Combat Exploitation and Trafficking Exploitation and trafficking of sex workers is a significant problem in the Dominican Republic. We will speak with representatives from organizations such as the International Justice Mission, IJM, and the Coalition Against Trafficking in Women and Girls in Latin America and the Caribbean, CATWLAC, to understand the challenges they face in combating trafficking and exploitation. We will also examine the effectiveness of government and non-governmental efforts to address these issues. Part 6, The Impact of Prostitution on Society. The impact of prostitution on society is a topic of debate in the Dominican Republic. Some argue that it provides a necessary service for those who seek it out, while others argue that it perpetuates gender inequality and contributes to the objectification of women. We will explore both sides of the debate and examine the potential impact of prostitution on society as a whole. Part 7, Culture and Attitudes Towards Prostitution. Culture and attitudes towards prostitution play a significant role in shaping the industry in the Dominican Republic. We will explore the cultural norms and beliefs that influence the acceptance of prostitution in the country, as well as the attitudes towards sex workers. We will speak with those who work in the industry, activists, and members of the public to gain a better understanding of the cultural and social dynamics at play. Part 8. The Future of Prostitution in the Dominican Republic As attitudes towards prostitution continue to evolve, it is important to examine the future of the industry in the Dominican Republic. We will explore the potential for changes in the legal framework or societal attitudes towards the industry. We will also examine the impact of emerging technologies, such as the rise of online sex work, on the industry. Conclusion Prostitution in the Dominican Republic is a complex issue with many nuances and challenges. This documentary has shed light on the history, laws, and lives of those involved in the industry. It is clear that there are many social, cultural, and economic factors that contribute to the prevalence of prostitution in the country, and that there are no easy solutions to the issues that arise. It is up to society to continue the conversation and work towards ensuring the safety and rights of sex workers while addressing issues such as exploitation, trafficking, and gender inequality.